Hi there, old chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Hello. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hello, welcome back to How To with Carl, me. Hey, it was a beautiful day here in my workshop and I cannot tell you how excited I am to get uh, started on this project today. If you don't remember from last week, uh, we, I talked about how we're just gonna go through a process of me making different videos for the whole series of the How To, my videos, that I'm doing How To videos now and I'm making stuff and you have to watch it because you're stuck there. And this is my channel, so. Sorry. So without further ado, let's get started. But before we get started, I want to tell you what we're making and why. You see, there's four things I love. Jesus, my main mom, y'all, and of course, uh, delicious chicken nuggets. But here's the deal. For the past 11 years of my life, I've been eating nuggets for uh, every meal of every day. I take 23 chicken nuggets with me in my lunchbox to work and it is the perfect meal. But for the past couple of days, I've been noticing someone has been stealing them. That's right, some twisted individual's robbing me in my lunch. And I get it, if it happens once, <laughs> who cares? Twice, no problem. But three times, four times, I will not stand for this. So today I'll be teaching you how to make chicken nuggets. But as you can tell, we are not in a kitchen. We are in my workshop. So the chicken nuggets that we will be making today will not be made of chicken, no siree. The nuggets that we will be making today will be made out of 100% Wood. <laughs> the plan is simple. Make nuggets out of wood, place them in my lunchbox, take them to work, the culprit takes my nuggets, tries to bite into them, bam, it's wood. And then they learn their lesson. <laughs> Such a good plan. So step number one on how to create a wood nugget. Grab a piece of wood. Hopefully you don't get too bored with this step. All right, step number two. We're going to shape the nugget making cuts. And for that, you need a saw. Is this, that's not a saw. Would this? No, that don't, don't do that. Fire <laughs> stranger. Saw, um, yes. That kind of looks like a knife, but I'll use it. Now make sure you don't ever use a saw or anything sharp without uh, your parents watching over you so you don't cut something and hurt yourself. I am a professional, obviously. <laughs> Step number three, after you have cut your chicken nuggets, you sand them. <laughs> and voila, the perfect uh, prank wooden chicken nuggets. You're beautiful. Wait, it's lunchtime, Well, what to eat? Hey, look, chicken nugget. Oh, man, I can't believe I fell for that. Fell for what? Oh, hey there, Jada. Uh, it's kind of a long story. Oh, I love stories. I'd love to hear it. So here's the thing, Jetta. You know that I love chicken nuggets and I bring them into work every single day. And for the past, I don't know, 11 years, that's all I've been loving to enjoy eating is chicken nuggets. And guess what? Here's the thing. This guy or girl, I don't know who it is, comes in, takes my lunchbox out of work, and eats all my chicken nuggets. So what do I do? I take a piece of wood, I cut it up, like with this thing. I think it's a saw, maybe a knife, very sharp. Don't play with it, Jetta, if you don't know how to use a saw. Anyways, I do that, I sand them down, and now I got a, a wooden chicken nugget. And that's why I have these wooden chicken nuggets in my hand. Wow, that is uh, quite the story, and you did great with making them. Hey, thanks, I'm pretty proud of them. Now, Carl, I have a question. Hit me. Do you have any enemies? Enemies? Like people I don't get along with? Yeah. Uh, do raccoons count? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. No? Oh, darn. Um, I don't know, maybe just one. The person that's eating my lunch at work, I would say they are now my enemy. Okay, cause I was reading earlier and I had to ask myself that question. So, do you have enemies? Well, I, I think I do, you know. I, I would guess everyone has at least one person they have a hard time being friends with. I have people like that in my life too, but I couldn't help but feel it was wrong to stay angry at someone or even call them my enemy. So when I read the rest of Matthew chapter 5 today, it really changed my mind on the whole thing. Oh really? What did it say? Well, you know how in superhero movies or shows there's always a good guy and a bad guy and the good guy is always supposed to beat the bad guy, then the bad guy goes away and everyone lives happily ever after? Yeah, that's the best. 
Well, what I read in the Bible made me realize that real life isn't like that at all. Huh? What do you mean? Well, think about it. In Matthew 5, Jesus says, you have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Whoa, is Jesus actually telling us to love our enemies? That doesn't make sense. They're enemies. You don't love your enemies. That's why they're enemies. Why my brain hurts? I know, I was confused at first too, but that's when I realized that's what Jesus did. What do you mean? I mean, if you read the Bible, it's very obvious that a lot of people tried to make Jesus their enemy. They didn't like the way he talked or what he did, but no matter how many people despised him or made fun of him, he always did one thing. He loved them. No matter what they looked like, where they came from, and even when they plotted against him, Jesus loved them every time. Huh, I guess I never thought about it like that. Because it makes sense to hate my enemies, you know? But it makes more sense to listen to God and not just their failings. And I guess God doesn't only love me. God loves my enemies too. You're exactly right, Carl. So I hope that helps you with the whole stolen chicken nuggets situation. It does, thank you. Because before I was really hoping to get back at this person, you know? But now I know if I ever have those feelings of anger or hate, I can just take a deep breath, pray, and follow Jesus' uh, example. You got it. Man, all this talk is making me hungry. Hey, chicken nuggets. Carl, wait. Why do I keep doing this? Hey there, everyone. I hope you had a fun time seeing Carl do what Carl does best, and that is get us ready for our big idea, which is Jesus taught us how to love our enemies. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus taught us how to love our enemies. Wonderful job. Now we still have plenty of how-to moments left, so make sure to tune in next time for the newest episode of Grow TV. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV.